Howdy, I can allow H2O's Roller Bros and Victoria Clipstons alike. I'm your guide, Q, and welcome to a virtual reality wedding. I don't know what's going on here because there's literally just one guy with a VR headset. I feel like there should be an entire crowd of people that are also wearing VR headsets that can experience what's actually happening in the virtual reality world, but maybe you couldn't get his family to attend a virtual reality wedding. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let's get into these sad cringe, but yeah, this is r slash sad cringe and r slash cringe picks combined into one cringy the video let's do so a DoorDash delivery driver received these special instructions for a delivery please deliver to door and please tell Ariana Sai said sorry because she is very mad at me and wouldn't pick up my phone the delivery driver tried their best to do this and these were the results I think her little brother answered the door but I relayed the message uh, thanks a lot man really appreciate it but she doesn't have a brother thanks man so she was with another guy oh this is just no and if you've ever wondered the perfect food to reignite a spark in the heart of your scorned lover, it's crawfish and a shrimp lover combo. You can't go wrong with those two. I'll never forget the time I was at a party. We were playing truth or dare and someone dared me to go home. <laughs> oh. Okay, so as we go through this timeline, just remember we're going back in time. Single women in my area. Why? Local single woman in a divorce need advice. Hey, I'm just glad to see that he's getting back out there after your divorce. Uh, Facebook is not Google, but I'm, I'm still proud of you, dude. Oh, my, I just noticed his profile picture is him just next to a Christmas tree. I know it's December when he was posting these, but that just makes it sadder for some reason. Oh, God, me confessing to my crush with a meme because I have no social confidence. My crush, someone probably. Mmm. Mmm. Are you saying you have a crush on me? Puke emoji. I honestly do not want to live anymore. Uh, don't. 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 Do not even think about asking a crush out with a meme. It will work 0% of the time. It just shows that, yeah, you don't have any social confidence, and that's not usually a very attractive trait to people, so yeah. Ah. How do you differentiate between someone being nice to you and someone flirting with you? Usually years later and with regret. Okay, I can relate to that. I can definitely relate to that, but there's another way to differentiate between these two things. Ask someone out on a date if they say yes they were flirting with you if they say no they were just being nice mm, here goes since i've never kissed someone can you kiss me i know the answer please don't kill me okay bye now why would you think i'd say yes things don't happen like that i know i'm sorry i feel like an idiot you don't ask people that if it's meant to happen it will go screw yourself Okay, so definitely not the nicest response from this girl. Kind of nasty. But uh, the other thing is, don't ask somebody out like this. If you ask somebody out and you're like, I already know the answer, please don't kill me. That's like the weirdest thing you can say. It's definitely gonna creep the other person out. So I'm sorry this happened to you, dude, but I hope you learned from this and don't ask somebody out again in this fashion. So this, like, poem rap was sent over Snapchat, and Fifty Shades of Grey is the first line, so you can tell exactly where this is gonna go. Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Lashes Major Pain. It's like I'm doing push-ups in the rain when I'm thrusting in your frame. Lay down some towels like massages on the way. I hear a dirty mind is a terrible thing to waste, so let's play. Well, how about you let me put you back into your happy place? How about you just put it in my face? Putty so fat I eat it up like birthday cake. Lay back so I can turn your bed into our dinner plate. You fine as hell, girl, and thick as duck. And you a naughty exhibitionist, man, it's just my luck. And you be flirting all slick like your mouth full of oil. And my mouth on you just happens to be how I can best spoil you. Th that's awkward. You thicker than a whole swimming pool of Elmer's glue. Watch you stick closer to a friend than cop batons do. Oh my god. Am I just a squirrel trying to bust a nut between you? Damn. Ah! You're gonna be blaming me when I got you gushing down your pants. Okay, one, I just found out that a lot of people in my family watch my channel, so this is a fun introduction for them. And two, if somebody can edit my voice to be in some sort of rhythm and put a beat behind this, I will pay you $30 on PayPal and post it on my second channel, so feel free. 
Same but different gang. What does that caption even mean, Pokimane? And then somebody responds to it. Hey, Pokey, this is now the third message that I'm sending, and I'm starting to think you're ignoring me. If you don't want to talk, just tell me. I'm still wondering if you'd like to go on a date. Okay, uh, one, I'm pretty sure that Pokimane has tens of thousands of people trying to go on dates with her. And two, do you guys think if she got a boyfriend, if that would decrease donations because people are like, oh, she's no longer eligible, that sucks, or would increase donations because people would be trying to impress her with their large large amounts of money and steal her away from her man. Let me, I'm gonna put a poll, let me know what you think. Stacy and I will not be getting married in September. I know this might seem, I know balloons might seem like a weird background, but honestly, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe she was toxic. You can't, you can't never know. Ugh, the game cost me my marriage. Story? Basically, my wife never played games at all, let alone online. She liked the idea of Fortnite and started playing. She was afraid to use the mic at first, then started using one. All the guys liked her British accent and started being flirty, asked to add on Instagram, etc. I felt uncomfortable about the way the guys were talking to her, but she said they were just online friends and I shouldn't worry. Fast forward two months and she out of nowhere told me she didn't love me anymore and now she's sex with a guy she met in game and they're planning to meet this summer apparently hearing all the guys flirt with her made her want to be single again jesus christ yet another reason to play apex legends instead of fortnite hey guys i hope you're doing well out there drinking some water skating on to the best of your abilities i'm very busy i gotta get married to my 3d waifu so i'll see you later but hope things are going well for you guys as well peace